Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we are up against Rakinos, and we won the die roll. So let's see what kind of a hand we can get here. It looks like it's perfectly acceptable, which is good. Finally, some keepable hands. I will take it. I will take it. Probably go... Ooh, what to do? Kind of want to play Thriving Grove. Hmm... So I kind of want to put down Sidewinder and Plated, but then I'm losing my red source. Do I take that chance? I do have the gem hide in hand. It depends on what we're up against, but we're kind of blind. I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it and just try it. Call white, play double Sidewinder, uh, Plated, and then go into a gem hide, start powering out some stuff. Get my hand out as quickly as possible. That's what I'm going for here. Hopefully you guys all had a good Christmas and everything was nice and relaxing. Mine was somewhat stressful, but that's all right. And of course we're up against black, which actually works out better for our plan because we can play around some edicts potentially. So let's go ahead and do that. There's our striking. So we're already getting burned on that side of things, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's see, are they gonna kill, kill, kill here? my wife got me some custom custom t-shirt a little lockdown tee it's pretty sweet got a nice big logo on the back too first uh, lockdown merch I've gotten nice Christmas gift from her oh oh we got some Orzov going on what are we up against now I wonder hmm okay aeronaut Scout. Oh, is this the scout? Okay, I think I think we we played this one recently, but this is a new card, so maybe it's a little bit different. We'll see. Um, all right, we got our jemmy, another jemmy, which is funny. Uh, we're just gonna go straight into our predatory, pass a turn, get ready to dump a hand next turn. Start getting in there for lots of damage. Looking for that removal. I don't know if they're going to play it. Maybe they don't have a lot. Maybe they've got uh, just a little bit. Uh, gains flying until end of turn. Core Sky Climber. Really cool artwork on that one. It is a 3-2. Bit of a problem. We're bringing in the spinnerets from the sideboard, obviously. For the spinnerets. We've only got one. Get him a swing in? I don't think you should. Yeah, the, the, the thing that could be best right here would be a heart sliver. But I will take that too. Let's just put down all the dirtiness. Really go for it. You know, really swing it heavy here. Uh, we're going to do it with this guy. Get that first strike down. Oh, sorry. Get in for four damage, because why not? With our little gem hide, you know, just carrying us through this game. Boom. First strike, four, five. Beautiful. Beautiful board. And uh, they're in a bit of trouble. They got five cards in hand. I don't know what they're going to be able to do with this kind of a massive board, but our... Uh, Thriving Grove play paid off, and I think it is a risk you have to take with this deck sometimes. You don't always want to call red. Important thing to remember is you've only got three cards, potentially four that are red in your main deck, typically, um, in this current build. So, you know, it's you're better off calling the colors you're, you know you're going to need 100%. Uh, tap and untap dial you control you gain two life well okay got summoning sickness and they're on the back pedal now so that's not really going to help them too much here uh yeah yeah and we'll go to sideboard <laughs> all right cool let's bring in our spinneret we'll cut a sentinel uh we'll get a swift response for those flyers just in case they might be playing with some enchantment stuff but i haven't seen it so i'm not gonna worry about it um Hunter should be pretty useful. I kind of want to keep him. We need to cut two cards so we can cut a winding. Maybe we just cut the two sentinels. 
sure why not let's do it kind of want hunter i'm kind of thinking hunter might be all right in case uh we don't find our spinneret it's another way to deal with the flyers if we need to force the blocks get them off the board save our life total maybe trade a creature but we're getting rid of the flyers and that's important especially because we've only got the one spinneret as a defense so we got four responses to the flyers we got the two switch response the spinneret and a hunter essentially i'm feeling pretty confident they do have the draw the play here we got the draw and all our mana is right it's not the strongest of hands but I will keep, we can, we can get there. I'm not going to mulligan this. Not going to mulligan this. We're starting off with tapped, and we will too, unless we pull into a forest, I think. Other predatory is not bad. See here, I've got the Fort Mountain in hand. I'm going to call white. We can use the extra white more than we can use that extra mountain. And we've got a gem hide, so... All right, to another, another ally enters the battlefield under your control. Each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. All right, the combo begins. I'm not super concerned about that yet. Uh, but this is nice. We can put down two creatures. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Start building up a board, slam the gem hide. Same thing as last time. Get the power building quickly, quickly, quickly. Force them into a position of no return. No return for you allies. If you guys haven't checked out the Sunday Booster Kraken video, go ahead and check it out. We finished up a Legacy Lost box. It was a lot of fun. It's kind of a rare box, so there's some cool stuff in there. Ooh, you got a little pump thing going on. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Okay. Cost five. We can race that. I'm not super concerned yet. Interesting, interesting. Let's put down the gem. Let's put down the striking. Let's put down the predatory. Pass the turn. Empty our hand out. Should I have done that a little differently? I'm trying to think, is there a way where I could have just tapped our normal mana so we could just do a full out swing here? But we'll see. Strong, very strong. We're gonna have double poisonous no matter what. And swinging in with some uh, three fours, which is good. They're a little bit behind. I think we're going to see a quick concede here. It's going to be a quick one. Can we keep it under the 10 minute mark? Is it likely? I think it kind of is. They're in a rough sp state. Three cards left. They do not have the pump. They can ping us a little bit, gain some extra life, but that's only going to help them so much. That'll help them. Smart move going after the Viverlin, actually. And they don't even know about that other Viverlin in hand. Uh, but honestly, it's not going to help them when I drop this Predatory Viverlin. So it's kind of all for naught. The pressure's still on. They might have... I get why they went for the Viverlin, but they might have had a better shot if they had gone for the Predatory. Ooh, and we've got a swift response. Interesting. Well, I'm not concerned about using that yet that's for sure uh can they do anything here i don't really think they can but we'll tap our lord just in case and swing in with these three there's no sense in setting up for any traps needlessly on a lord when we don't have to two cards in hand three creatures on the board two up to block they're not going to do any of it they're going to take three poisonous and take a few bits of damage it's looking good for us Ooh, this music got loud a little bit might not be that i always think the music's louder than it is and i listen to the replay and i'm like oh you can barely hear that you can barely hear it all right they could get the pump here but i don't think it's going to save them Cost five to pump the team, and then you've just got two, three, two, four, and a two, two. Not the world's best. Kill one of my lords. Sure. 
What'd they do? Oh, they just played a land there? Okay. Fair enough. But now we got a swift response, so... Again, not super concerned, and we can just... <laughs> we can just, you know, slam this down right here. Be like, GG, y'all. GG. Oh, we hit the 10 minute mark. Oh, bummer. All right, we're, so, we're full on swinging here. There's nothing to be scared about. They can't do crap right now to us. So they're forced to chump block, lose a bunch of their board. Um, one card in hand. Yeah, they, they definitely brought in some removal against us. Interesting with this. That's an expensive sorcery. Why this one? Something to do with the Devoid? Like, why would you bring that in if it wasn't for the Devoid? No color reasoning. I'm not sure. I've never seen that be a thing. This is obviously a deck they're testing out. But I don't see how that's a useful piece of removal, especially when you're playing black. You've got so many options. I don't see how that's beneficial to you. Six poisonous, six life. We have 16. They've just got a healer. And yeah, two cards. I think it's a GG. Another healer, sure, but that's really not going to do much here. It's not even going to save them. One more turn, that's for sure. I think they're realizing it. Can we get a 3, 2, 1, and concede? Good sir, there we go. Ooh, that was some good timing, thank you very much. GG's. Um, yeah, the ally combo. I don't know how to feel about it. Not super strong. Man, we were starting to draw a lot of lands, though. That was tough. Interesting. I like digging deep. Let's dig deeper. Well, we would have got that Hunter Viverlink going, but all right, cool. Well, leave a like if you enjoyed that video and make sure to subscribe, support the channel, and stay tuned for more slivers the rest of the week here. Take care, and we will see you guys in the next video.